Now you shall come. First, let the begin my giving out praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Bakakodash, double honors be unto the apostles of great millstone who rode well. Best and salutation to the men that put this word in sincerity and in truth. You know, um, how about brother, how about from Jim and Shannon here once again? You know, here to do a quick edification through the Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You know, and, um, the certification is based off of belief, you know, I type in the word believe in um the Bible search, you know, because the, the word came to mind. You know, I was reading the scriptures also, you know. And um I went to the word belief and it leads back to you know, so because in this truth, you know, um we have to believe on the prophecies we have to believe on the scriptures yeah we believe we really believe in your shy um mainly you know because if we don't believe it's just like you you, you just wing in it you just here and you know you know you're just here for, for a time period you know you're just in the truth for a time period not believing anything you know, but it's, it's like a, a, a apostle say a boys club. You know, this is not a boys club. It's not something. This is not extra cur curriculum. You know, this is not a hobby, or whatever the case might be. Yeah. So, um, the first scripture I want to bring is um. Yes, yeah, so the first scripture is Mark chapter 5 and verse, start from verse 21. Mark 5 and 21, it says, And when Yahushai was passed over again by ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, he had come one of the rulers of the synagogue, um, Jairus, by name. And when he was him, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet, and besought him greatly, saying, "My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed." And she shall live. And Yahushai went with him. And much people followed him and thrown him. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood twelve years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better but grew worse right and i i and i yes that is actually to be as 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 a spirit right and what, and what has happened is when you sin you know when you sin scriptures you will see that when you sin sin does make you sick you know but in an instance like this also the lord this was this this was there for the Lord to be for his power to be to be known. You know, for some to be to believe on him. As it goes on to say, it goes on to say, verse twenty seven. It says when it says then she had heard of Yahweh Shai came in the press behind came in the press behind and touched his garment for she said if i may touch but his clothes i shall be whole and there's a form of faith there's a form of belief right so we go go on further we go we go go into the you know to the lesson we go we want to understand where is belief it says and straight away the fountain of her blood 
was dried up and she felt and she felt in her body that she was healed that she was healed of that plague right she was healed of that plague right i don't know but i want to go into that word plague uh, mark 5 and 29 right i don't know why my wrongs up mark 5 and 29 Mark 5 and 29. Plague. It says a whip, a scourge, the fork of yes, scourge, a plague, a calamity, misfortune, especially sent by God, disciples, or punishment. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Calamity and misfortune, especially sent by God, um, to discipline the not, not disciples, to discipline. Wow, to discipline or punish. Right, so in, in, in this situation, the plagues, hey, and in Strong's, it says, well, um, to the idea of contact, a whip, a Roman. Um, flag, flagellum, Roman flagellum of criminals, figuratively a disease, plague, scourging. Right? So, so it's actually sent by Yahabashim Yashai. The plague is sent by, yeah, we know that the plague is sent by Yahabashim Yashai for what? To discipline or to punish. Because Apostle Paul. Um, in everything is um, second second Corinthians two eleven. You know when you say when you say um, uh, let's see if I can find it. Is eleven or? My feet is made, my strength is made strong. Um, I don't think it's 12 or not. I think it's 12, yeah, it says but true. I have to go, I shall not fall for I will see. Think about what you see. Think all about my father. And me, yeah, turn right. Yeah, there is it. To other, to other, yeah, but she may shy. Um, Second Corinthians 12 and 6. I will start from 6. It says, For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. For I will see the truth. Right? For I will see the truth. But now I forbear. Lest any man should think of me above that which he seemeth me to be, or that he heareth of me, unless I should be exalted above measure. Though through the abundance, Salakia, through the abundance of the revelation, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan, to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. Right? So the Lord sent a thorn in, in um in the apostle Paul's flesh. You know, because hey, the power that the Lord bestowed upon him to heal, you know, the wisdom. You know, man ought to get puffed up because Apostle Paul was 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 he was he was a disciple of the Heavenly Father, but he was a man, you know, and what come with being a man? All different type of thoughts, you know. You know, sin. Because he is a he's a mortal, he's a mortal in the flesh still. 
So the Lord wanted to Satan to buffet me lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought Yahweh trace that I might depart that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Mashiach may rest upon me. Yeah, so hey. Because the infirmities also make you humble. Right? To be scourged, to be scourged or chastened, it makes you humble. It make it keep you at that lowest state. You know? It keep you at that lowest state. You wouldn't you wouldn't exalt yourself. You know, because earth and ashes, as the scripture says, why earth and ashes is proud. You, you, you have no, you are mere human, you are mortal. You know, you shouldn't get proud. But anyway, um, so basically, I say that to say this. Um, read over Mark 5 and 36, it says, And straight away, the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt it in her body that she was healed of the plague. And the plague, the word plague goes back to what? A calamity, a misfortune, especially sent by God to discipline or punish, right? And the, and basically, the, the Lord sent that plague in, in Apostle Paul for what? To, to discipline, to make him discipline even more. And, and it also goes back to his punishment also because we was doing this. The, um, the Lord's people, his disciples, by putting them to death. You know, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord judge you and correct you at the same time. If if it make any sense, because like in the sense of, um, in the sense of Job and his kids, you know, Job, Job, Job kids, the Lord actually was trying Job, and he was also giving his children their, their judgment at the same time for keeping that birthday party, to celebrate him birthday. So the Lord was trying Job and he was also raining judgment on um, Job kids. So the Lord, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know how to pray, but uh, you get the idea. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So it goes on to say verse... Go back. Verse 30, it says, um, And Yahusha immediately, and Yahusha immediately, knowing in himself the virtue had gone out of him. Right? Touch, turned him about in the press and said who touched my clothes and the disciples said unto him verse 30, 31 and the disciples said unto him thou seest the multitude frowning thee and sayest thou who touched me he looked and he looked round about to see her that had done this thing but the woman fearing and trembling knowing that knowing what was done in her came and fell down before him and behold and so like, and told him i don't know sometimes i was reading that and told him the truth and he said unto her daughter thy feet and me be whole go in peace and be whole of thy plagues Right? The whole of thy plagues, right? This is why they want to say this because so because she believed on Yahushai, she believed on, on um, Yahushai that he he's a healer, right? He is the son of the living power, Yahweh. Her faith made a whole. Her belief. Going on, it says, while he yet speak, there came from the rule the rulers of the synagogue house certain which said thy daughter is dead why trouble is thou the master any any further and as soon as he asked, I heard the words that were spoken he said unto the rulers of the synagogue be not afraid 
only believe. And we see be not afraid but only believe. Going on, it says, um, and he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. And he and he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and seat the tumult and them that wept and wailing greatly. And when he was coming, he said unto them, Why make ye the ado? And weep, the damsel is not dead, but sleep it. And they laughed him to scorn, but when he had put them all out, he take it the father and the mother of the damsel and them that were with him and entered in and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Tamil Talam Talatha Kamu come in Talatha Kumai Salakya Talatha Kumai which means which is being translated damsel I say unto thee arise and straight away the damsel arose and walked and she was of the age of twelve and they were astonished with a great astonishment right and he charged them straight straightly that right they basically it. you know so hey maybe we have shy too let me post to this if you say be not afraid only believe you know so once you have belief you know belief in the heavenly father and his only begotten son you know and, and faith 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 is faith is um i just get to say um Faith without works is um is dead. You know, so you have to have works behind your feet. You see? But mainly you have to believe on your Bashim Yahushai. That he, he will heal, he will deliver. You know, and he will do what he said he, 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 he um he will do. Right? Believe on his word. Matthew chapter um, 8 and verse 5 it says and when Yahushai was entered into Cappadonium there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying Lord my servant lieth at home sick with the palsy grievous tormented grievously tormented and Yahushai said unto him I will come and heal him the centurion answered and said Lord I am not worthy of thy Worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, Go, and he goeth, and to the other, Come, and he cometh. And to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. Then, when he have I heard it, he marveled and said, um, to them that follow, followed, verily I, verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. But I say unto you, that many shall come from the east and west, and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into out into outer darkness there shall be weeping and and gashing of teeth and how shall i said unto the centurion go thy way and as thou believe and and as thou hast believed right as thou hast believed so be it done unto thee and his servant was healed in the same hour why because what he believed he believed. And I'm not going to do what believe. That is um Matthew eight. Matthew eight and thirteen. Right? Matthew eight and thirteen. 
Matthew 8 and 13 says, um, if you believe, believed, Matthew 8 and 13, G4, 41,000, 41, it says, um, it says, yo, it says to think, to be true, to be persuaded of a credit. I'm going on to two. It says to trust in to trust in Yahweh Shai or Yahweh as able to aid either in obtaining or in doing something, saving faith and trust a thing to one, i.e his fidelity to be trusted right and don't nobody shown definition it says to have faith right so the word belief or believe it goes back to having faith right that's the next word for belief yeah come it's a lot Right? Um, this is the last scripture here. Matthew 9 and verse and verse 27 it says and when Yahweh shall departed thence two blind men followed him crying and saying thou son of David have mercy on us and when he was come into the house, the blind men came unto, came to him, and Yahushua said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to thy faith, right? Or according to what? Thy belief. Be it unto you. And the eyes were open, and Yahushai straightly charged them, saying, See that no man knoweth it. So, right? So, faith and your belief goes hand in hand, right? Um, See, so how in this truth, you know, you have, to, you have to believe in what you're doing, right? You have to believe. In the prophecies, as I say, right? You have to, be, you have, you have, to have faith that hey, the, the, this kingdom is going to end now. This kingdom is going to end next year. Right? You know why? Because we've seen it happening. We've seen prophecies unfolding. Right? And that's supposed to, hey, it boosts my faith to see when these prophecies and these things happening, it boosts my faith to, to, hey, to believe on Yahushua even more. And to, show, to, to believe in the scriptures because the scriptures are real. You know, so hopefully this video is edifying. You know, um, hopefully this video is edifying. So shut and when Jesus depart, and when Jesus, and when Jesus, and when Jesus. So that, yeah. You know, say, um, Rakatea you Abashi know, Miyashai. You know, the balance the apostles are great men, so they rule well. Shalom. To the elect and you sisters are listening to say Shalom.